even though it was about the busiest Thursday I can remember in sports, Rams Seahawks Thursday Night Football came down to the wire, a missed field goal. Yankees announcing that CeCe Sabathia will not be on the playoff roster as of now. James Paxton, Paxton taking the ball, game one, and multiple playoff games going on in Major League Baseball. There's only one thing we got to talk about today, and that's that the Mets, the New York Mets, they finally did it. They fired Mickey Calloway. Now, I know it's only two seasons, and I know he's being fired while he's still in, under contract. He actually has one more year left, so they're going to pay him to not manage their team. And he actually, they actually had an option for the following year. He will no longer be the manager of the New York Mets. He was fired yesterday, let go, relieved of his duties. Goodbye, see you, pack your bags, get out the door, you're gone. Listen, I think it's long overdue. I think Mickey Calloway should have been fired midseason. I think after they got swept by the Marlins and they had lost seven games in a row. Now, I know they went on a historic run in the second half of the season. And after the All-Star break, they had the fourth best record in Major League Baseball. I get all of that. And I get that they improved from the year before by nine games to win 86 games this past year. And I know it's not all his fault. I get all that and all that and all that. But let me tell you something. If you can't hand in the lineup card that you're not even making on your own, that's being handed to you to then hand to somebody else. When you can't make that right, you're not fit to be a manager in Major League Baseball. When you can't perform a double switch and you're a former pitching coach and you're a former Major League Baseball player and now you're a manager for two years and you can't properly perform a double switch like you're in Little League, you're not fit to be a Major League manager. You send up a batter out of order, you're not fit to be a manager in Major League Baseball. I'm sorry, Mickey Calloway, after two seasons, 163 and 161, barely over 500, you are the definition of mediocre and now you're looking for work good luck searching the help wanted ads just like the rest of us you can watch the major league baseball playoffs from your couch so i am the host of the dave talk sports podcast i am dave ettinger i work at cbs sports radio network and you join me every single morning on the way home this is my youtube channel named dave talk sports you can subscribe to this channel right below this video and continue to watch every single morning as you join me on my commute home from new york city to long island it's finally done raining It's going to be sunny today, a little bit cooler in the 60s, but nice and sunny. I give you the weather too, apparently. So, Mickey Calloway's gone. See ya. We got to listen to Brody Van Wagenen talk like he's in corporate America. And uh, not only corporate America, he loves everybody. I love everybody. We got to worry about the culture, the, the team culture, the organizational culture, and how my players feel and... I I just want a manager who's going to love the players and the players will love him back. How about we just have people who know what they're doing? Because Brody Van Wagenen is an incompetent general manager. Yeah, he's incompetent. All right, you don't trade for a closer in Edwin Diaz. Because, okay, maybe he can pitch in Seattle, can't pitch in New York. Not everybody can pitch in New York. Look at, you don't have to look that far. Look at Sonny Gray. Now look at Edwin Diaz. There's certain guys who just can't pitch in New York. They can pitch when in a place where nobody's talking about them. Fine. Uh, Robinson Cano, you're taking on five years of a 36-year-old second baseman. A lot of these deals, atrocious. Now here's the thing. Brody Van Wagenen is being allowed to make decisions. So he's making the decision to bring in his own manager now and tie himself and attach himself at the hip with that manager. So he'll go down with that ship when he chooses the wrong one. The question is, who will it be? And we will definitely get to that tomorrow as well with all my predictions when we have more time. But I think that you're looking at an interesting you're an interesting place here in Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball managers are not what they used to be. It's, you know, Buck Showalter may get a job. Joe Madden may get another job. Joe Girardi may even come out of retirement and get a new job. But you're not getting paid as much as you used to. 
and you're not going to have as much control as you used to. So that leaves the question, who will be the next manager of the New York Mets? And we will tackle that problem tomorrow right here on the Dave Talk Sports podcast on my Dave Talk Sports YouTube channel. I am your host, Dave Ettinger, and I work at CBS Sports Radio Network. Thank you for joining me. I'm on my ride home today. It's Friday. You know what that means. Enjoy the beer.